Force by Edward Dolnick. He has uh, this ability of sort of um, knowing exactly how much to put in of the science so that it makes sense and you feel like you're learning something, but um, also uh, including all sort of the uh, exciting and, and or gory details uh, from people's lives or from um, what's going on at the time. And it's um, Newton and Leibniz and uh, around the time of the Enlightenment, so lots of um, exciting things are happening. The plague goes on and he talks about that and he talks about how it affected the development of science at the time. He talks about the birth of the Royal Society and how some of the scientists at the time were affected by it or not. He does a really good job of uh, showing how um, beliefs of the day were still really rooted in some just hearsay and absolutely no scientific basis whatsoever. The whole thread of it is um, the development of calculus, but the way that he goes about telling you that is how scientists had to change their perspective. I mean, basically before this, they were natural philosophers, and after this point, they were scientists. So he talks about all the different, um, all the different changes in philosophy and in the way of doing science that made calculus possible and changed how science was done forever. My favorite thing about it, it doesn't, I love the subject matter, but it, it hardly even, it hardly even mattered because he just wrote it so well and so engagingly and so masterfully that I'm gonna read all the other ones. Newton sticking a needle in his eye, which is a good story. It's on page 20, oh, here it is, 49 because he wanted to see what would happen when he changed the shape of his retina. So he, uh, you know, like you do, he just stuck a needle in there and pushed on the retina to see what happened. Um, pain is my guess, but he also learned a little bit about optics. I believe that's Hook who drew this. Yeah, Robert Hook drew this flea, and then he compared it. This is, you know, this is God's work here, says Hook. And then he compared it to some things made by man. This is a needle. Um, this is a razor, unfortunately, and this is a printed dot, and he drew those to show how our, our work is imperfect in comparison to nature's work. Mm -hmm.